And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers, and it comes your way next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost a Super Bowl in there too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done. in Super Bowl 58. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Right to the air is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Seven yards there at a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Tony. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Now a second and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man right side is Tony. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up 
here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now it's Mahomes again. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at it, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. And that play there was certainly a scouting report special because Cover was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up a shutout. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Here's Mahomes, third and goal. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. I mean, harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Nice footwork at the 25. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards. 
Evans and a first down. The safeties were well back there, and he had a lot of room. Were they in the cover, too? Yeah, they were, and the safeties were back. You know, usually they're 12 to 15 yards off the line of scrimmage, somewhere around the hash mark for each of them. But what also happens if the linebackers dive into the line, if you block them initially, that blocker can come off of them and get up to the safeties on the second level. And now you've got a big place to run the football. And yeah, that's going to be another good run on first down. This one goes for 14 as he is eating them up here to begin the drive. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 46, here's a second and seven. Here's Purdy. They'll get this to Jennings over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 28. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. One advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been. And it's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. From 17 yards out. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> and now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, ruling on the field stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven.
Mahomes had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know one big play that gets them right back up to that level. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a fourth. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Mahomes now on first down. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, Ball hardly hit the ground. And I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. On play action, it's Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're at zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Mahomes to throw on second down to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 17-yard line. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second down and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that one too wide and incomplete. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. 
That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Lock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Bunker on for the Chiefs field goal. Bunker's kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. the gun, Purdy. Brandon Ayuk. Down to the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 73 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Now throw right side taken in by the tight end Gray. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 14-10 the score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. Well, we just saw shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this across the 50 to the 49. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast into the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Second and five. They go play fake. Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Pacheco will take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Let's go, fellas. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, 49ers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Now Moody for the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. And no doubt one of the most 
announced, if not the most exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Here's James. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. And now here comes Kansas City. Well certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now Charles remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field and you're exactly right about that. But now backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Mahomes now on first down. That ball caught, it's Rice. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. To throw, it's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked up by Fred Warner. Inside the 10 and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. Extra point try now for Moody. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Taken in at the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As 
usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Mahomes now to throw. That is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. Now Brandon Ayuk ready to bring out the rest of this offense here for this upcoming series. He's delivered a solid performance so far here in the second quarter. Everything has been good for him. And right now, if you're on defense, you don't want it to go to great. So you have to just change up coverages and looks on him all the time. Press coverage sometimes, back off and play some man, show some zone, double team him, make him really work for each and every catch. He's hit the end zone once. Maybe there's more in the tank. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Shotgun now with Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That's caught by Werner. He tag in. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. The result only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third and three. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On third down, it's Purdy. Throw it outside. McCaffrey's got it. And they lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. That'll be caught by Rice. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Second and ten. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right to the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is brought in at the 21. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. And Nick Bolton there on the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Pretty slow, complete here to Ayu. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards.
yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Back to throw, Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and ten. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Purdy now to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here that's close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Purdy sets up to throw again. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Purdy from the gun on third down. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. 
And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. For that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait until the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. Mahomes now on first down. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 37. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 37 yards. And the Chiefs get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Five plays there on that drive, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. 
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl taking it about the one and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 there's receiver Brandon Ayuk as San Francisco's offense returns to the field and I know that they've double teamed him a couple times but not a ton whatever they're doing isn't working he's up over 100 yards we'll see how they adjust and when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Hardy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 26. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. just shy of midfield. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Samuel. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Justice's this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They can now afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. 
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Mahomes now on first down. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And out of bounds across the 15 yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion and that's going to bring up third and two. I know it was a gain but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space. I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30 yard line. 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Purdy to throw again on second and ten. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Second and a couple. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. The throwing here, Purdy. That is caught. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I 
don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And this one's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Slant left, connects with Debo Samuel. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Purdy. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first down, Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now Mahomes. And the 
this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They'll drop the throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. And Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 17 yard line now he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey pass the 20 for a short gain second down I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole ended up only getting four yards on the carry I think he had designs on that one being bigger from the 21 here's the second down and six Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now, look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Third and two. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. That's complete to the tight end winner. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Birdie. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? And a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown 
or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 39-yard line. A handoff, McCaffrey running right to the 36-yard line, stop there. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive can take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Two yards still to go, third down now. Here's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Purdy to throw it on first down. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They'll get this to Jennings over the middle. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now we've got a third down and three. Back to throw, Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayu, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. On second down, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. A three-score game here late. You could probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 14. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Mahomes now to throw. Now he's got it. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez scambling. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. 
So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them at the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead. Fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Michael Dana. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll make it third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he sacked for a loss of 12. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. James now to return it. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 11. 
Looking to throw is Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. It's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 37. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Connects with Kittle underneath. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Purdy now to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Get me able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And throwing here, Purdy. And he is caught. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating defensively. You're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. That's Samuel caught left side. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Purdy off the play fake. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. There on the stop was Leo Chanel. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 94 yards rushing for him now, a big part of why they lead in this Super Bowl. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And the 49ers are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown, 49ers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. 
Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And nearly another interception. Well, it would have been his third of the game, but this time he couldn't hang on. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Now Mahomes. big tight end and he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line a good pick up there 26 yards you cannot write these guys off just yet not with a quarterback like that under center you mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off not yet not a chance not with him we've seen it too many times on first and ten here's Mahomes Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that 
That leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. And now they're in the hurry up. Mahomes to throw once more. That's complete right around the eight. And yeah, the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now Mahomes to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Another shot from the one on second and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are able to cut into that deficit. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, it's such a high stakes scenario. Everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a 
big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's McCaffrey. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Samuel. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. But good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football. Look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle ready to swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver, but not on that one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, that agile, He's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. one is right through and that will extend their lead even further so they settle for just the three but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth without a doubt obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off but it still ate up time got points so while it's not mission accomplished it's darn close So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Mahomes. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here comes second down. Mahomes. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Well, what a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. One final try for Mahomes. Now he's forced out right. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and 
Volunteers, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way. Didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.